Three reasons why men put women on a pedestal. This is something you do not want to find yourself in as a man. When you put a woman above yourself, it's just not a good place to be. It's very dangerous and detrimental to your growth as a man. So I'm going to talk about three reasons why a man would be in this type of situation and how you can avoid that so it doesn't happen to you. So let's get into it. What's going on, man? Welcome back to the Sophisticated Man YouTube channel. I am Tina Regano, men's development coach. Make sure you hit subscribe for more men's improvement content. Why do men put women on a pedestal? It's very damaging to yourself as a man. And women don't want to be in that position because they won't respect you. And with no respect, you, she can't love you. And she can't actually be in a healthy relationship with you if she's walking all over you. So why are some men still pedestalizing women and putting them above themselves? Well, the number one reason in my experience and from what I've seen and what I've observed from people in my life is you have a low sense of self-worth. If you don't think you're worthy as a man or that you hold any value, you're basically gonna bend over backwards for anybody that gives you the slightest amount of attention or validation. I know a guy right now in my life and he is literally simping so hard for this girl, takes her to expensive dinners, he takes her to different cities across the country. He pays for her and wines and dines her at every single corner, but he gets nothing in return. Nothing. She doesn't kiss him. She doesn't sleep with him. She doesn't even consider him her boyfriend. Does not respect this man at all, and it's because this man does not respect himself. He doesn't know what his worth is. And that's a massive reasons a lot of men do this, and they put women on that pedestal because they don't put themselves on a pedestal first. A number two reason, it is gives them a false sense of companionship. Men just get lonely, and they feel like they want some type of partner, companion, somebody with them to make them feel important. And that's, that's a really dangerous place to get into a relationship or to do anything romantic with somebody is because you feel lonely or you feel like you're not enough by yourself. So you go date somebody, you go show some girl attention, you give her all this validation because you think that that is actually what a relationship should be like. If I'm just extra nice to her, if I wine and dine her, I accompany all her needs, all her wants, and I forget about myself, then eventually this girl will like me. That's not how a real healthy relationship works. Guys get onto OnlyFans and they subscribe to these things and they have conversations with these girls that they're paying money to per month to see them naked. And they think that's a real connection. They think that's a real girl that gives a shit about them. She doesn't care about you, bro. Don't ever start a connection in life just because you simply feel alone. Be, be comfortable knowing that you are enough on your own. That's what I try to promote on my channel here. You don't need any woman in life to validate you as a man. You are enough on your own. You just have to start seeing it that way. And some of these women are very narcissistic. They eat that shit up. They get all this free attention and they give you some attention. Not all of your attention. Not She gives you a little bit. You're like a mouse on a hamster wheel chasing the cheese and she's just dangling in front of you. Hey, here's, here's my attention. Here, you gotta fight for it though. You really gotta work for it. But you never actually get that prize. Not healthy, man. The number three reason that men pedestalize women is because they have nothing to offer. Do you honestly think that a man that has his life established, he has good he has good finances, good mental, emotional, physical health, he has resources, he's a capable, strong man with a plenty of options in life, with women, with careers, with income, he has endless amounts of abundance. Do you think that man would entertain a woman who's playing him like a freaking piano? Absolutely not. A man with something to offer is not willing to compromise himself just to get the attention or small kick of validation from a girl. The reason that guys do this, the reason that guys put a woman on a pedestal is because they don't think they have anything to offer. They don't have any other options. They don't have any any value as a man. They don't have any skills. They don't have any resources to provide. So they think that woman completes them. Again, I'll, I'll reference that same guy. He does all these things for this girl. He, he pays for her. He wines and dines her. He treats her. And she can't even post a picture with him on her Instagram, bro. She doesn't care about him. So if you put women on a pedestal, bro, and you put them above your own needs, your own growth as a man, your own interest in life, 
she's not going to respect you. She's not going to treat you like you deserve to be treated. Normal, healthy women do not want to be put on a pedestal. And most of the time when you do that, they'll just reject you and walk away. But unhealthy, narcissistic women will use you to make you think that you have a chance with them, but really you never did. So be aware enough to catch this before it's too late. Have enough self-esteem to walk away from women that do that to you, that make you feel like you need to put them on a pedestal. Know what your worth is, man. Don't settle for anything that makes you feel less than. I try to help you make your life that much better. That's the goal of my channel, man. So you don't have to be that dude in that situation where you're giving all this thing to a girl, you're never getting anything in return. Work on yourself, bro. Put yourself on a pedestal. Because if you're not making yourself and your path and your purpose the main priority, women will be or something else that will be that's distracting and not actually helping you as a man. Get your priorities straight. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought about this topic. Feel free to share your feedback. If you had an experience like this before, do you know somebody who's in this type of situation? Let me know down below. And any topics or subjects you want to cover on future videos, also let me know down below. I'd love to hear your feedback, and I appreciate all of your comments. Make sure that you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so yet. And if you want to work with me personally, right now I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to really get you on your self-improvement journey. Help professional men really build their masculinity by by getting into personal development, and I help you do that within four months through my coaching program. Really build structure to create positive, healthy habits to eliminate bad habits, hold you accountable to actions, and build your confidence in anything involving manhood, lifestyle, and relationships. Click the link down below to apply for a free discovery call. Right now, I'm accepting clients, and I can't wait to work with you. So that's the video, man. Hopefully you understand it. Hopefully that made sense to you. Understand that the reason men pedestalize women is because they don't know the importance that they have in themselves. They don't know the value that they hold. They don't think that they can offer anything to life and to women in general. Learn that you are enough on your own. You don't need anybody else to complete you. You're complete on your own. And then work on your self-improvement, better yourself as a man, so you never have to be in that position. Hopefully you have an awesome rest of your day, man. Remember, everything truly does start with you. You want some more videos about men's improvement? Click the videos right here. Peace out, man.